Well, hello there, Apple Biteys. This is your Apple Bite, Rafael Tavares, talking to you straight from MCON. And we're here with our friend, Joseph Monastery. Yes, and we wanted to catch up with him, talk to him. I heard a lot of little things when we were talking earlier that you might want to share with the audience out there. So, you know, let them find out, catch them up to speed. What's going on? So, uh, for those who don't know, I recent, uh, about two years ago, I released the book Butterflies in Space, uh, which is a chapbook, a uh, short story followed by poems. Uh, a lot of it's themed around mental health. Um, it's currently out of print, so the copies I have on hand, but it's going to be going back into print eventually, but with a different cover, um, maybe. Um, but there's, I have other, a bunch of other plans for it at the moment. Um, in the meantime, I'm focusing on doing some other content um, and doing, finishing up some of my other projects that I started. Uh, one of them was one of the ones that I has been a recurring thing has been the cosplay and disabilities panel at New York Comic Con, which we just did the fourth day of. Um, I saw it was very successful. You guys did very well. The fourth year, yeah. Actually, we had a magic wheelchair there. We deb debuted two cosplays for young young children in costumes. Uh, young children in wheelchairs uh, with costumes. We also had the co-CEO, Archie, there. Uh, Nancy Selbercoit. And uh, she talked about her uh, character, Scarlet in the Archie universe, um, who's a, who is a new character uh, in the digital, for the Archie digital comics, and she has autism. Um, and for the, I real, highly recommend people read it. Um, and I've been doing, New York State ha, uh, starting to implement um, mental health uh, education into schools. And so, and with, uh, for those of you who who know my story from the pre from previous uh, interviews and stuff like that, uh, know that mental health is something really important to me, and I have my own personal journey. Um, so one of the things that I'm doing is I've been putting together creating resources for them, trying to get in get those resources out into the world, into this into the schools and stuff like that. Like this right here is an eight week mental health journal that I did, and it has uh, stuff like anxiety tracking, uh, mood charts, stuff like that. And stuff like gratitude journals. Um, some of the other stuff that I've been doing has been a lot, been a lot of editing, a lot of mentoring. I helped um, uh, a young person up in Buffalo uh, get her book out, uh, Alexis Kennedy. It's called um, This Is What It Feels Like, and it's a really, really good, good read. I highly recommend it. Um, that can be found on Amazon. Um, and then we today, today actually we just launched uh, something that we've been working with you know, for a long time. Uh, David Schlake, uh, he did, his Light Against Cancer series was just released uh, in print online um, on Amazon. Definitely, definitely worth a look. Uh, Light Against Cancer by David Schlake. Uh, I was the editor on that. Uh, and I'm working on uh, with a couple other people. Uh, Jaden Sway of in Albany. Uh, I've been mentoring her and helping her get a book, uh, which will be out soon. Um, I've been doing a little bit of, uh, I've been doing a lot of video stuff and podcasting. Big one. This is the big news. Uh, so I started doing this. I started venturing into podcasting, and one of the things that I started doing was I started doing this podcast called Literature Leap. And um, with it, uh, it's currently we're currently halfway through the, the season. Uh, some of the things to expect in it. Um, we're gonna start off strong with an interview by Joe Hill. Uh, who's the son of Stephen King, and also the uh, what you, DC just recently did away with Vertigo Comics in favor of what, a new uh, imprint called Hill House. He's that person. He's also the person who did uh, who wrote NOS 4A2, uh, the book and the TV show Lock and Key, which is going to be Netflix. Um, and so I have him uh, on it, on it as well as Gabriel Rodriguez. Uh, who also did Lock and Key and Sword of Ages, um, and Amy Reader, uh, who did Moon Girl uh, and Devil Dinosaur, um, and so, so Literature Leap, some interesting stuff there. We also, I also took a drive out to um, Washington D.C. for for it, and I decided to do a uh, uh, during it, uh, documenting the journey and going and visiting the Library of Congress. 
um, amongst other things in DC. Um, and so that's all going to be part of it. And then to, uh, some of the stuff that I'm getting ready to film is I'm going to be sending a copy of my book, Butterflies in Space, actually into space. Um, so that's going to be a fun. That's going to be a fun one. Um, and it's going to be a little bit interesting because it's going to be really thinking outside the box. Um, that is totally different, you know. You know uh, just the fact that it's going to be out there in space. But uh, yeah, so there's a, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I've also been doing a lot of stuff with, uh, been doing a lot of talking, getting palling around with the museum of interesting things. Um, definitely, definitely another amazing resource to check out. Um, I've been doing a lot, and it's. I can tell you, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, but little by little, everything's coming together, and. That's good. We wanted to catch up to you because when I was talking to you, I can tell that you had all this stuff just um, percolating there and working with it. So now, if they want to follow you, they want to catch all this stuff, where do they go? Instagram, at butterfliesin.space. Um, you can also, when you go to the Instagram, if you, uh, there's a link in my bio. If you click on that link, you sign up for the news email newsletter. I'm trying to do more of that. I want to do some serial fiction in the email. Uh, so like short some some short stories that end with cliffhangers and continue. I want to do a couple different things. Um, I've also been trying to make more Instagram videos. Um, definitely worth checking out. Also, it's a great it's a great Instagram if you like Pekingeses because I'm always posting pi pictures and videos of my dog. That sounds good. Now do yourself a favor. Go check it out because you won't be sorry. You know, um, I love this whole mental health thing here going on because I feel like keeping track of your issue is one of the ways to keep sane and keep safe. So do yourself a favor, get one of these and go check them out. You know, we all love butterflies.